Alyssa Harvey has done what most people dream about from time to time. She quit her job and started her own business. I was working in a cubicle, crunching numbers, making phone calls, bored most of my day. Um, I was a marketing coordinator. Did you like it at all? No. She works at home now in Danbury, Connecticut, making hand design stationery. Well, these are wedding invitations that need to get finished up and shipped out at some point this week. And she's doing very well. This may be a little impertinent, but are you making <laughs> as much money now as you were when you were in the cubicle? I am, actually. Um, and that, to me, is the most amazing part of it. In fact, she's making more than the comfortable five-figure salary she made in her old job with help from a website called Etsy, a sort of flea market slash supermarket just for craftspeople. This operation started in 2005 and sold about $155,000 worth of stuff that year. Last year's sales, $88 million. 200,000 active craftspeople exhibit their products on Etsy before about 2 million potential buyers. And that business builds business. For people like Alyssa Harvey, first quarter last year, she had 52 orders. First quarter this year, she had 95. You're doing better in this economy than you did last year? Believe it or not. And it's a good thing, too, because not long ago, Alyssa's husband, Daryl, got laid off. I never expected that I would be the only breadwinner in the household, although the intention is for me to be able to be in this business completely independent of a second income. She didn't intend to be this independent this soon, but she also didn't expect to be this successful this soon. Richard Schlesinger, CBS News, Danbury, Connecticut.